We're all familiar with the PlayStation Remote app. It has been around for a very long time, but my experience with it has been very lackluster. Thankfully, there is now a different app that I think is a much better solution, and it is also available on the Steam Deck. The app in question is called Chiaki. It's an open source PlayStation Remote app client, and it is available on a bunch of devices like your PC, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, and in my case, and what I'm using, the Steam Deck. Normally, I have my PlayStation directly connected to the TV for the best experience possible. But ever since I started streaming, I've moved my PlayStation over to the desk because that's what I've been using in order to stream. I don't really have a very powerful laptop, so this was the best solution. Of course, I still want to experience it on my big screen and being comfy on the couch. But I'm not going to disconnect and reconnect or plug and unplug every single day in order to experience that. Instead of unplugging and plugging it in every single time from my desk to the TV, I just decided to leave my PlayStation on my desk and use my Steam Deck to stream to the TV instead. In order to stream the Steam Deck to the TV, you'll need a dock and there is an official dock for the Steam Deck, but that one was way too expensive. I had already spent too much on the Steam Deck, so I wasn't going to buy the dock as well. But later on, I did find a much more affordable third-party dock from Ugreen. I made a video about this dock quite some time ago, and I still have it. It's been several years, and I still love it to this day. It works perfectly. Setting Chiaki up is fairly easy. You just go to the Discover page on the Steam Deck, download it for free, and add it to your Steam as a non-Steam game. When you open up Chiaki for the first time, there are very few simple steps that you need to take. Number one, make sure that PlayStation Remote Play is enabled on your PlayStation 5, get a link code, and also make sure that you know your PlayStation ID, as in your PlayStation username. Write them both down and then also log in to your PlayStation Network. From there, you're set. You will notice that Chiaki does default to 720p. You can just go to the settings and change the resolution to 1080p or maybe lower if you really have to. In order to really find out if Chiaki works well, I put it through its paces with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a very fast-paced action game where reaction time is very important and any sort of lag or input delay is noticed immediately and it will also ruin your experience. You'll be happy to hear that I've had no problem playing this game whatsoever. Everything just works perfectly fine. It is actually quite awesome, in fact. There are times where I'm actually forgetting that I'm streaming the game because it just looks and plays so well. Let us not forget that the Steam Deck is a portable device as well. So I decided to bring this to my parents' house and see if I could maybe stream my games from there. Even at my parents' house, I was able to connect to my console no problem and play my games from there. And just like in my own house, I had perfect resolution, frame rates, and no input delay whatsoever. One thing that I do feel like I need to mention, if you want to make sure that Chiaki can connect to your console, it needs to be either on or in rest mode. In rest mode, it has no problem waking up the console and connecting to it. Sony can definitely learn something from Chiaki, not to mention Microsoft. Microsoft has had cloud-based gaming for a long time, and it's actually really good, much better than Sony's. The PlayStation Portal, when it first came out, was really, really bad. They've, of course, updated the PlayStation Portal, and it seems to be working better now. I don't have the PlayStation Portal myself, so I cannot compare, but I hear that it's a lot better. But Sony still has a long way to go compared to Microsoft and Chiaki because both of them just work so much better. The experiences that I've had with Chiaki over these past few weeks have been so much better than the PlayStation Remote Play app. So if you're going to stream your games from any device, I would definitely suggest trying Chiaki instead of the PlayStation Remote Play app. I think you will have a much better experience that way.
if you want to take your PlayStation games out into the world and be able to play them, then having a Steam Deck is also a very good option because you'll have physical buttons that you can use. It is not so fun playing on a touch screen. I mean, you can do that if you're an insane person, but having physical buttons just feels and plays so much better than a touch screen. I don't think that I've neglected to mention something, but if I did, then please leave it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And the best thing that you can do to support this channel is to subscribe. As you may have heard, I also stream on Twitch. I stream from Monday to Friday, and you can find me on twitch.tv slash sittingdutchman90. There will also be a link down in the description. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next time.